All right, and hey there, Prox Gaming Crew, and welcome back to another episode of the Tears of the Kingdom Let's Play. If you guys missed out during the last one, we went and headed to the Nakuya Shrine and went and used our recall ability and got ourselves with another one of these Light of Blessings. So now it seems like since we do have four uh, of these Light of Blessings, we have to go and return all the way back on over towards to the Temple of Time and figure out what else is going to be happening from here. Now, I know that we went and headed to the Temple of Time from before, and Raru did tell us that with all these different shrines here, we can actually go and use them as fast travel points, which that is going to be very helpful uh, for what we have to go through through around within here and i know that also too later on when we go in head into uh some more of the other different shrines and if there is going to be some checkpoints around within those shrines at least it's going to be in the general vicinity and we could just go and head back over to there without ever having to go and use the zona gliders or whatnot i know that for right now i don't really have a, a zona type of fan at this point in time uh so i can't really go and use any of these gliders that are outside i know that we kind of saw those during before within the last episode but i do want to go and do one other thing before we go and head on over to the temple of time and that's going to be doing a little bit of some side exploring and let's see if i can get myself with another of any of these type of uh secret type of chests that are going to be out here for a little bit so with all that being said in mind let's go and do it now uh so it seems like i want to say there could be a chest just right up in here if we just have to just do one more other little quick climb um now within these two videos for today guys we are of course going to be doing some more of pokemon coliseum we are having to go and head into the rail game of coliseum we have to go and battle with nascor and also with the mayor himself and uh, i believe they all uh, i think both of those two type of trainers uh they do have shadow pokemon uh they do have uh, one of them has an alakazam one of them has a t-tar so i do have that master ball so i may probably get myself with that alakazam if i'm lucky enough but let's go and show you guys how this whole fast travel thing is going to work so just have to go and head on over here to the yuko shrine since it's already located right on over next to where the temple of time is going to be and i'm going to do a little bit of a quick edit uh, for you guys here just so you guys don't have to see me all the way uh trying to head back over to the temple of time i'll just show you guys right where i'm going to be located at and then we can go and uh, continue onwards within our adventure of our time within here so i'll see you guys in uh, just in a little bit when i go and reach on over to the temple of time that's just right on over there Okay, guys, and here we are. We're at the Temple of Time now, and uh, let's go and see what is going to happen here. Now, if I can't recall about how Breath of the Wild works, is that I know that if you go and speak on over to one of those type of goddess statues, and if you have, like, so much amount of those, uh, we should at least be able to get ourselves at least some sort of upgrade for a Link now, uh, which we can at least get ourselves with maybe a heart container or maybe one of those sprint type of upgrade things. So... Uh, let's go and uh, head on back over towards where that uh, goddess statue is going to be And I think that's where we do have to go and head on over towards you now again You can always go and check your adventure logs if you ever do want to go and figure out exactly where you need to go and be uh, So let's just make sure exactly what needs to happen here So once we got ourselves with the final shrine uh, within this area uh, We can go and head back to the goddess statue So it seems like that is exactly what we do have to go and do and uh, see if this door is now going to finally be open to us now I know uh, that during during the last time when we went and tried to put our strength together it did not really work all that too well and uh, i think also too i think i forgot that we have to go and literally uh push onto the door we can't really go and uh, try to mash the a button for it to go and open up so we'll have to go and try to hold down on the a button for this time and see if it's going to work this time around but let's go and uh see this goddess statue here and uh, interact with it and figure out what's going on now um just during last night i did go and watch the money in the bank pay-per-view and i do have to say it was a very fantastic good premium live event and uh, i'm really happy that demon priest got it and i'm very happy that eo sky got it uh hopefully uh what wwe can do is that hopefully they can kind of make like the briefcase kind of like stay in their hands for like a little bit because i know that during like the past like i want to say like three years so far i think uh like like just for a majority of like the women's like money in the bank type of stuff uh, i know that they always kind of like like rush through the briefcase type of stuff and then they like get that one all finished and done with but then like the guy's side is like they kind of leave it for like quite a few months but hopefully they can kind of do that for like both of them and then that would be really nice to kind of generate some sort of like uh some nice good moments that are going to happen like during before that they actually go and cash it in um but i know that i think what was it i, I think also two cody Rhodes also won it uh as well too i know that that was like a battle against what dominic i think uh so that was pretty interesting so let's go and finally press our way down here and let's go and put all of our health to the test. And I know that unfortunately with this door, we kind of have to kind of lose a little bit of our health, but at least we finally got the door opened up. So we're all good. And uh, let's see. Now, I'm pretty certain, uh, again, if you guys don't know about uh, Tears of the Kingdom here, uh, we already kind of saw that there was a little bit of some voice acting. So again, if there is going to be some uh, voice acting parts here to it, I'll kind of just keep myself quiet. And I'll let you guys enjoy about everything that's going to be happening now.
see you have managed to open the door. You haven't fully recovered yet, but that is to be expected. You're almost beyond saving. By visiting the shrines, and receiving their blessings, you have mitigated some of the corruption's effects. Though our time together has been brief, I am so happy that we finally met. You are exactly as Zelda said. I've done everything I can for you. Now it is up to you. Oh, well, so that kind of is kind of a little bit sad. I think that that's going to be kind of like the last time that I think we're going to be kind of just seeing Raru out here for the time being. But I have to say, with some of the different cutscenes uh, during the time of me using my brand new upscaler, it looks absolutely amazing. And I really do have to say, I really do like that upscaler. And uh, for what I had to go and do out here with the Nintendo Switch. Okay, guys, and I'm back. And I just had to just kind of go and just take a little bit of a break to kind of at least kind of get my bearings back together uh, from since we kind of just had to go and do everything here in the Temple of Time. Okay, so let's go and kind of figure out exactly what needs to happen here. And I'm going to probably assume that this is going to probably maybe leading into some sort of like ascending type of ability that's going to be going on. I don't think we need to go and really worry about any type of like zone of gliders or anything of that type of nature. So let's just go and try to head all the way up here and see if we can make it all the way up top and I think we are okay now we may probably have to kind of go and do this again which it looks like we are gonna have to do that and let's just go right underneath here and that should lead us right on into the checkpoint and that's just right down this way right and I think we already made it hey and I think I also do see a chest that kind of looks up here or maybe not what the heck is this is this like another one of these light of blessing things or is this gonna be another special ability hmm all right, well, let's go and interact with this thing, and uh, hopefully it's not going to be injuring us or anything of that type of nature. Let's go and put it right onto our arm now. Huh. Oh boy, that does not sound good at all. Oh wait, hold on, it's that dragon that we've been kind of just seeing around out in here. Well, we're finally going to be able to go and interact with this guy once and for all. Huh. Well, at least we now know that there's more stuff underneath from here. And that's where we're going to have to go and literally do all of our exploration now. No more Great Sky Island anymore. Link. Link. You must find me. All right. 
With that being said in mind, new objective to the Kingdom of Hyrule. And with that being said in mind, guys, I'm going to go and end this episode out here for today. And in the next one, it looks like, oh boy, look at that. That looks probably like Gandor's castle right down there. So we'll have to probably not interact with that because I think there could probably be some very scary stuff but, uh, down there. But I know that we kind of have to go and head all the way down into this place anyways. And I'll see you guys when that actually does happen. And uh, also stay tuned for Pokemon Coliseum as well. And, uh, and of course, peace.